Hello, Anil. Good afternoon. So, good morning. It's not afternoon yet. Good morning, sir. How are you, sir? Oh, just the way I was yesterday. <laughs> no changes as such. Yeah. Chalo. All right, Anil. So, let's begin with assignment. Let's check what it is. My four wheel love. Okay. Have you ever owned a car? Do you own a car? No, sir. All right. If you would like to own a car someday, what kind of car would that be? Budget uh, like uh, I love to. I love punch Tata punch. Okay. All right. Punch. And what 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 makes it so special? Why does it why does no, it feel like one? Of I don't know about a big uh, about uh, the car, but. Uh, uh, like my uh, friends and my uh, like relatives, they are saying that this car is a very good. So that's why I am interested. I am not about. I I don't know much about about, much that. about cars. Okay. All right. So in India, 25 years back, 30, 20 years back even, car was more like a luxury than a requirement. But nowadays, because the climate has changed drastically, the pollution levels have changed drastically, the dust and everything, and also uh, the road accidents and the, uh, the position of two wheelers on the roads is much more unsafe than what it used to be 20 years back, yeah, 20, 25 years back. Given to these practically, uh, you know, change scenarios, do you think that four wheelers are now a requirement and not just a luxury? Because things have changed drastically for the position of two wheelers on the roads. What do you think? What, what are your thoughts? Uh, in my case, like in Himachal Pradesh, uh, everyone uh, said that, Anil, you have to purchase uh, car. But I thought uh, I don't I, I don't need the great this alto. the great yeah. alto. <laughs> yes. yeah. So everyone said that uh, you need uh, uh, one car in Himachal Pradesh. So, mm -hmm. but uh, at when I uh, came here, so at that moment I didn't realize that I need a, a car. Uh, mm -hmm. I thought the scooty is better for me and uh, not a car. But uh, when I uh, like. Uh, Staying here, I uh, uh, went my school in monsoon and uh, winter, and also <laughs> as well uh, like uh, summer season. So I realized that the car is a very important in this area. Like yeah. when uh, the ra rain is started suddenly, the uh, uh, when when we we uh, wet fully wet with the uh, water and. Uh, in, uh, see, when you say time, wet, see, when you say fully wet, it automatically means water. Water, yes. You don't have to say fully wet with water, right? Uh, sir, uh, wet with uh, sweat. <laughs> okay, if you want to say that, you can say I'm I'm I'm, I'm already sweating. You don't have to say wet sweating. with sweat. If you're yeah. writing a poem or something, that's a different matter, right? Okay. You want to use uh, rhyming sounds, but you, you I, I'm wet with sweat. No one says that. Right? You only say that I'm sweating or I'm I'm so I, I'm full of sweat or something like that. You don't say wet with sweat. That's more like a poem, poetry. Right. Okay. Hmm. Continue. So so and in winter time, I, I face a very uh, difficult to use a scooty because uh, when while uh, riding my scooty. My ha hand, my face is fully like uh, I am uh, standing on a fridge. My hand and uh, my face is very cold. So mm -hmm. in that scenario, we need a car in this area, hill area. But in Kolkata, everyone needs a, a car because uh, while riding a bike, after came back their home, return back to home, they they fully uh, you can say they are. Uh, came from the coal India, work at uh, like a coila coal, coal. Uh, because the, yeah uh, they fully um, 
Hello. Okay, sir. I got disconnected. I had to. I was trying to reconnect, but it wasn't connecting at all. Okay. Uh, yeah. Please. Say, what were we discussing? Uh, like uh, when we are in uh, riding a bike right. on full. Right. Correct. Yeah. Mm. So, so the full body, uh, like uh, we can say that dust is on full body when we are washing the hand. The uh, the from the water is fully black. So we realized on that time we have lots of uh, dust on our body. Mm. Mm. So that's need a car. <laughs> you can say. Right. So in a way we can say it is a requirement, but. Especially if you're living in Dharamshala, McLeod Ganj, you know, these places, there is not, of course, there is dust. But if you compare it to a city like Delhi or Calcutta, it's nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. nothing. Yes, yes. Tell me, why is Alto so popular in the hills? Everywhere in Himachal, Alto is actually. First time when I came here, I also thought this why they are purchasing a small car like Alto. Because then, of small but, roads, small yeah, then, then I realized when I uh, went to lots of uh, small places and there is a no uh, like um, a big space for a uh, yeah. uh, go to the big car. So, okay. it, like, uh, so that's the reason they are purchasing this type of car. Okay, so it's more about the turning radius and easy way yeah. to move around. Yes, mm -hmm. that is the reason. Yeah. Interesting. And um, are you a good driver? Do, do you do you drive? No, I just uh, uh, before joining is spoken English. Before mm -hmm. that, I complete my driving license. I passed my driving license. Okay, but, okay. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not a good driver. So, so right now you are still a learner. You are still in a learning phase. Mm -hmm. Whenever we learn something, whenever mm -hmm. we uh, Whenever we are in the phase of learning something, we need certain ways of doing certain things. What are those ways according to you? Like what are those necessary, um, what do you call it? What are those necessary um, steps one must take to learn anything for that matter? Like, uh, uh, in, uh, like in, in spoken English, I feel, I realize that uh, from last 15 to 20 days, I just only use uh, English Yari or a clapping. I just connect with the tutor and talk with them. Mm -hmm. While talking, I, I, I realized that uh, uh, I struck fumbling. Uh, Sometimes I, I think about the word, which sentences, which word I, I can use. Mm -hmm. But uh, before that, when I am using CV and connect with the tutor, so at that time when uh, I am doing mistake. It is not a big issue for me at that time because I am uh, expressing my thoughts continuously, not stucking anywhere. So yeah. in that scenario, I, I just realized that we need practice more and more. Mm -hmm. So like in car, we have to practice like uh, when I am uh, practicing car, learning uh, mm -hmm. uh, driving. On right. that time, in the morning, I just uh, practice with my teacher. Who suggest me, Anil? You have to do this and don't do this. And in the evening, uh, I practice with my own, with my student. He have a own, own car, so right. I just practice with them uh, in the evening in traffic area, like uh, uh, in Kolkata, heavy traffic in the uh, like after six or seven. And mm -hmm. that time, I just uh, start riding, uh, yeah. driving. Yeah. So like that, in uh, in uh, spoken English also, we need a uh, practice. Sometimes we make a good uh, speaker, speaker, yeah. and today just uh, uh, today I connect with a good speaker, and he sometimes they are suggesting us good things, and sometimes they are bullying. So yeah. bullying part is also important to taking because yeah. uh, uh, we need that that tension also. With uh, if anyone meet with uh, that types of people, so how yeah. to survive on that time? Yeah. Okay. So we. We have to practice more and more and consistency. Hmm. Tell me what are some of the things which you believe have helped you in learning 
anything apart from your martial arts because martial art is something that you have been doing from your childhood so yeah. if you forget that what are the things which you think you do better everything when i focusing on anything like uh, in spoken english i realized that i am learn a lot in 5 months because i connected with a lot of people lots of people they are uh, uh, completed their two year three years but they are not speak any words so i realized that uh, uh, if i am focusing and i am consistently practicing consistent on the any field so definitely i achieve the goal i don't know how much i am improving but in in my thoughts in my opinion uh, i think i am a uh, good in my my way, in mm. my opinion yeah so any any things when i learn like in, in driving time my teacher who uh, who thought that uh, anil definitely got a fail uh, get fail because uh, he is a not a good uh, driver and he he don't have a car also but uh, when uh, when we both uh, we both uh, like uh, one my partner uh, co learner who also uh, uh, went to the uh, that rto office and uh, for examination and we both go there but went there but uh, i completely do my work as a like a proper way fully uh, like uh, both side is equal and the other person just uh, one inch uh, he uh, gap from the like a code mm. so he definitely fail but uh, on that day my teacher said i th- i thought you are not a good student but you are a good student you learn well and you are a pass so in when i focus on any things i think i learn okay all right so focus is the way to get better at anything you believe yeah. right yeah yes yeah. 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 has it ever happened that you focused for a very long time but then you realize that focus is not enough maybe i need some guidance maybe i need some help maybe i need this need that what are those things according to you which you have used is uh, that in uh, from my childhood uh, i just learn one thing that uh, we need one guidance in every sector when we we want to go for a learning uh, karate english or any kind of things we need a guidance we need a teacher so uh, i always uh, took support from guidance like uh, i that's why i'm joining here and uh, i took the classes in english ari or class in both yeah okay all right um say you have been given an uh, a task to teach something to someone okay not martial arts forget martial arts for a bit because that yeah. will make it easy for you to understand all the time right yes sir make it um, something that you believe are important for you to teach right some maybe let's say uh, how to ride a cycle okay okay or maybe swimming if you are a swimmer okay and what are those things which you would like to teach and what would be your methodology right so let's say you're teaching to young children or maybe uh, housewives or yeah. your working professionals how would you do it like anything pick up a subject of your choice that you would like to teach right what are those like if uh, <laughs> if i am a uh, teacher uh, small kids like a below 15 or 13 at that moment i'm trying to uh, uh, no sorry first uh, 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 i teach i try to teach them uh, swimming because uh, i am not a good swimmer but i am a swimmer uh, so uh, i try to teach them because uh, um, i i practicing swimming uh, approximately across the 30 years so in this time i didn't uh, have a practice but uh, i have a practice so uh, um, on that case uh, i definitely teach them of course like uh, try to see them how to the uh, fear about that uh, water or not uh, mm-hmm. the uh, like uh, lots of people they swim but they have a fear that uh, if i am uh, standing on water and i, I am uh, sir doobna ko kya bol sakte drown drown mm-hmm. so 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 i uh, first of all i try to give them uh, some uh, like uh, overcome from the fear 
and then i try to like if i am uh, giving the instruction in uh, river then i am trying to uh, hold the steps and then i uh, give them some instruction for a uh, foot uh, raising and all like that licking just uh, in the steps of rivers not a uh, deeper one and if i uh, have a chance to give them some instruction in pool area so that is very good because he is also not drowned on the water and was also he overcome from there so mm-hmm. i give them some instruction about uh, uh, like uh, how to breathe and breathe out and uh, how much time who, who spend on that water and i don't know about the teaching <laughs> uh, water in the water but i just create a, a story mm-hmm. so i i told them like that right right often it happens that we want to teach things to many people and we teach well but at the same time we uh, fail to learn from the teachings right because when we teach one thing that should be very common is that we should learn from our own teachings or our own mistakes and that is something which we often forget and do you think it is something which makes sense what do you think what are your thoughts yes sir uh, like uh, no, teaching is also one of the uh, thing is the learning like uh, the students also get some uh, new idea new tricks like sometimes i teach the students and they also uh, give some new tricks uh, a, tra- uh, a method of training how okay. to teach the students Uh, bo- uh like a uh, lots of the students they uh, uh they give some uh, ideas to how to speak the students like mm-hmm. sometimes uh, students are not uh, comfortable with uh, uh, angry some students are not comfortable with uh, fun okay. so uh, we uh, we understand the mood of the students we understand their uh, the problems also uh, i think uh, we learn lots of things in uh, while teaching Hmm. <clears throat> do you have any teacher on your mind you can think of probably from your childhood yeah. who did a wonderful job in teaching or who had a great way of teaching uh, from school time i didn't face this types of problem uh, like a, i didn't a mate with uh, uh, that kind of teacher everyone just uh, try to just get their, their walk like uh, if i uh, join your class you just uh, uh, talk with me and complete the session uh, after 20 minutes 25 minutes you said okay bye anil you didn't uh, try to uh, give some uh, new thoughts a new logic so i didn't meet this type of uh, teacher yeah but in karate i met one teacher who tried to uh, uplift their student try to make new uh, thoughts how to improve their uh, techniques uh, fighting uh, all these things so i met one teacher in my life uh, of karate teacher apart mm-hmm. from this i didn't meet uh, any kind of a student uh, teacher who tried to uh, give some new thoughts to how to teach the students according the students ability what else i think you were talking about your teacher who where you met your karate trainer so basically in your school in your college you never had anyone who was inspiring enough what do you think what do you say actually in a school i i met with one teacher who try to uh, teach the students uh, 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 like a uh, Uh, from bottom of heart but uh, mm. when he try to teach the student the students are not uh, good the student always teach the student uh, teacher and uh, who always uh, try to make fun with her and mm. disturbing to the sir uh, mm. when the sir writing on the board and try to explain something on that times uh, some two or three students they are disturbing to the sir because he is a like a very wanted type of family background so that's why they are disturbing to the sir but uh, i meet with uh, that teacher only because i i have one teacher uh, i i know that teacher he uh, i like their talking of uh, way of talking 
and mm. teaching uh, the method. But when we took some tuition classes on their own private classes, and that time, uh, in this time, I realized that they are also just making, uh, just uh, you can say they are time pass, doing time pass. Mm. Nothing. And why? And why did you feel like that? What were your experiences that like, made you? Feel like that? Yeah, yeah, sir. Uh, because uh, uh, in school we feel that sir is a very good and uh, that teaching method is a very good. When we uh, go there, so at that moment, uh, when we you know, went like, there, go uh, nahi, go yes, nahi. Sir, we went there. When when we went, when I went there, so at that moment, sometimes uh, the sir is not available. Sometimes sir is available, just talking with the uh, uh, students normally, other general topic, not a education topic. Sometime uh, he just uh, uh, <laughs> wrote the note and give it to the students and uh, said you can write it their own, their own, uh, their own you are own. So uh, we are did like that and uh, month of month the like uh, uh, going on and even we are uh, shifting uh, next class we shift uh, another uh, to the teacher and then. Uh, the teacher also bit in the students who yeah. are not uh, uh, taking took the session took the classes in their private session uh, in private tuition. So yeah. that's why lots of students for a fear. Even we also for the fear uh, went to the that teacher and took the classes. But that teacher also yeah. just talk with the uh, like uh, who are a very good on their education uh, that like a girl or boy who is the best who just talk with them not a beginner who come to uh, their tuition so, so you can say that in a way your teachers were also biased towards you know students who were already better instead of the yes. average students yes yes yes, yes, yes.